Hey guys, so yesterday I told you that I was going to do a calming skincare routine and I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I When I don't wear my contacts, I can't see much and uh, instead of using this tube, I used this tube, which is uh, tretinitin and the other one was cortisone. So that was a mis little bit of a mistake and my skin is pretty hardy and even though it's sensitive, it can withstand a lot of punishment and uh, just could not quite handle all of that. So uh, I've been doing this for a few days now, my calming skincare routine. And uh, it starts out after I cleanse my skin with a gentle cleanser, a CeraVe's foaming cleanser is very gentle. Uh, Paula's Choice hydrating gel to cream cleanser is a gentle. Uh, the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce cleanser is very gentle. Or you can also pick out any of the Drunk Elephant cleansers, their Best Day cleanser, uh, their new Slay cleanser, or their bars. Their cleansing bars are both pretty good. So just look for a gentle cleanser that's not going to do too much for your skin. So, and then after I uh, cleanse, I've been using the Claire Supple Preparation Toner, which uh, go with the unscented version. Uh, they make two different versions, and you can either apply this to the palms of your hands and pat it into skin. I just like to use it on a cotton pad just to smooth it over my face. And uh, you can use a, any toner that doesn't contain any alcohol. There's a lot of them out there, but you definitely want to look for one that is alcohol free. Uh, the worst thing you can do for your skin if it's damaged or healing or you've damaged the uh, moisture barrier is add a lot of drying alcohol onto it. So uh, this is a good one. Another one I've also been using is the Casa Rex Centella uh, Water Alcohol-Free Toner, which is a good one. And I've just been using this in my calming routine just as a spritz in between a couple steps. My skin just soaks this stuff up. So uh, this is a good one. It doesn't contain alcohol. And you can use it as a spritz. You can use it as a toner. Uh, pretty much whatever you prefer. So this is a good one. It really helped calm my skin down. Uh, so let's see. And then after I did that, so I did my toner. I did my little essence thing. I applied the uh, Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence, which is uh, a nice, it's kind of got a jelly texture to it. And I just applied it all over my face. And doing this, several days in a row has really helped with the flakiness. Flakiness is almost all gone, but you should have saw me yesterday when I got home and looked in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, I look like a rattlesnake. All my skin is falling off. So anyway, so this is a good one. Uh, it's also fragrance free. So it's a good one to check out if you're looking for a good essence that's got some snail properties. Uh, you really want to focus on a couple things when your skin is damaged, uh, healing it. Uh, probiotics can really help. I know there's uh, Tula Skin Care is can, uses a lot of prebiotics or probiotics in their skin care. Uh, and they've got lots of different products, eye creams, moisturizers, cleansers. And uh, so that's a good option as well as Saturday Skin came out with a new probiotic bright potion, uh, which is a serum texture. And I really like that. So I've been using this onto my skin. And also is fragrance free. So I just have been applying a lot of little layers. And letting them soak in a couple seconds each layer. And it seems to be helping my skin heal a lot faster than uh, keeping up with the other products I was using more regularly. So, and the other thing is if your skin is damaged or dry or flaky like that. Uh, I don't recommend using any acids until your skin is healed. So I would recommend avoiding things like uh, vitamin C. Uh, I've been using a little bit of it, kind of adding it back into my routine really slowly, but uh, skipping certain things like that. Alpha hydroxy acids, uh, you'll want to wait until your skin has been healed a few days before you even add, think about adding any of that. And then uh, retinol is another good one, which is kind of how I got myself into this mess, but uh, wait until your skin is doing a little bit better until you start slowly adding these back in. Don't Say one day my skin is better and just start doing them all again. And the other thing is, in my opinion, uh, sunscreen becomes even more important when your skin is damaged because your skin becomes so much more susceptible. The skin uh, that's exposed on your face is fresher and newer 
And so using a sunblock is absolutely key. Uh, here's the sunblock I use today, uh, which is the Claire's Airy Soft. I really like it, but uh, definitely when your skin is damaged like that, sunscreen is even more important. So I've done my serum in my essence, and uh, I'm gonna apply something on my neck. My neck gets really dry. So I picked up this, uh, uh, I wish, Trenteca Barrier Cream. And this has a lot of good beneficial ingredients in it. And it's really more just meant to be applied where you have certain ir irritated spots. It's not necessarily best to apply it all over, but it's really been helping my poor neck. My poor neck is just the most sensitive part. So uh, anyway, so I really like this barrier cream. It seems to be helping and it helps it heal and store in any moisture and prevent it from uh, drying or getting overly dry. So that's also a good one. So now I'm going to go with my... Uh, moisturizer which was which one was I going to do um oh I was going to do an oil first I like to do a little bit of an oil over my skin just to help uh give it a little bit of hydration but I don't recommend going too overboard with damaged skin uh just a few drops and pat it into your skin <coughs> and that should be good but pick an oil that's fragrance free uh the Indie Lee Daily Nutrition is a good one And I just like to pat it in a little bit after I do my serum because you'll see my moisturizer is kind of my own concoction. So um, I'm going to do an eye cream really quick. Uh, Skin Fix, their brightening eye cream. I like to use it all over my eyes. So because my eyes also got a little bit dry as well as pretty much everything on my face did. I don't know how even my eyes got super dry with that, but they did. So I just like to apply it on my lids and upper eyelids and then make sure my moisturizer goes everywhere else on it so that's the skin fix they're now at sephora and all of their products just went live yesterday so check those out so then the other uh, thing i've been doing is mixing a few products that have helped calm my skin down the claire's midnight blue calming cream i've been mixing that with the paula's choice radiance renewal mask which is more of a sleeping mask than anything and uh, I've been mixing that. And the other thing I've been mixing it with a little bit is the uh, snail mucin, which also can give you some, it's got some good properties to help heal skin. So snail products are huge. I'm gonna use this giant wand to scoop some out. But uh, if you don't have any snail products, Cosrx makes some awesome ones. So they're well worth checking out. Uh, if you haven't tried Cosrx before, but it is very slimy, so very gooey. I'm reading all about how they produce this stuff, and it's just fascinating. So I'm going to mix a little bit of that with a little bit of the Claire's. And then this has basically uh, kind of been my savior, is this little concoction that I've mixed. And uh, I will just, I'm going to apply this all over my face and my neck because my neck got a little burnt as well. But yeah, it's very interesting, the snail stuff. So I'm going to be doing my top five snail products very soon in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. And... And then since it's nighttime, I'm going to go to sleep with this all over my face. And then when I wake up, it'll all be soaked in. That's how dry my skin is. So, there we go. So, this is kind of what's been helping me. So, look for things that are fragrance-free, alcohol-free, things that say calming on them are a good thing. Snails are a good thing. Uh... Pro, pro, pro or prebiotics are a good thing. Uh, avoid acids, uh, anything that says exfoliating, uh, things that are more hydrating are better, fragrance-free again, better off. So, and then anything that says barrier repair, check it out, because there was one I looked at the other day that said it was a barrier repair cream, and the third ingredient was denatured alcohol. I'm like, well, that's not gonna repair anything. It's gonna make it worse, which is why I really like the uh, Tekka barrier cream. This is a good one, so. I've just been using it on spots here and there. So, but uh, overall, I hope that helped you out. I know several people have been asking recently about, you know, my skin's irritated. What should I do? Or I've damaged my 
you know, skin barrier, what can I do to help fix it? So those are basically the things and you just keep doing that routine until your skin is feeling better. And once your skin does feel better, don't just go back to what you were doing before. Start reintroducing things as though you're reintroducing them to your skin the very, very first time you, your skin's ever seen it because you don't want to, you want to start out slowly again with everything else. So, and hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did. I made that mistake twice now in my life. And uh, the first time wasn't as bad. The second time was very annoying. So um, anyway, so those are kind of some of my thoughts on it. Um, yeah. So and then I'm going to finish up with a good uh, lip balm. I like this new one. So the Brazilian Kiss. So anyway, those are some of my thoughts. And uh, thank you guys so much.